Hi, I'm James Shore. I'm here to tell you about my Testing Without Mocks training course. This is a course for professional developers, and as a developer, you know how important it is to have automated tests for your code. They save a huge amount of time. Unfortunately, our test suites also cost us a huge amount of time. We have to deal with flaky tests, slow tests, and complicated mock-heavy tests that leave us wondering, is this test really testing anything, or is it just testing itself? I've been writing developer tests using test-driven development for over 23 years, ever since I first started using extreme programming in 2000, and I've been wrestling with these problems from the beginning. I started out with broad integration tests, but over time they became flaky and slow. So I started using mocks, but they were complicated and made my code hard to refactor. I tried modifying my design to separate infrastructure from logic, using techniques similar to functional core, imperative shell, and hexagonal architecture, but that required architectural changes that were out of reach for legacy code bases, and it didn't help out with the infrastructure-heavy code that's so common in today's code. Infrastructure code is code that talks to external systems and state. Finally, in 2016, after trying a whole bunch of different approaches, I hit upon a solution. Nullables. I've been refining it ever since. Nullables are a way of adding an off switch to your infrastructure code. They're useful in production, and they're particularly useful for your tests. They allow you to write narrow, state-based, sociable tests that don't talk to the outside world. This results in surprisingly simple tests that are fast, reliable, ensure your whole system works together, and allow you to refactor without breaking existing tests. Let me explain. A broad integration test involves running your code all the way out to external systems. It's easy to reason about, but setting up those external systems gets complicated, and the tests run slow. Mock-based tests use dependency injection to isolate the code under test from its dependencies. Instead of running the real dependency, now your code runs the injected mock or spy. This results in tests that are fast and reliable, but now they're not checking that the whole system really works together. It leads to problems when you refactor. Nullables allow you to create narrow, sociable, state-based tests. They test a specific part of your code, but they don't isolate it from its dependencies. Instead, all the dependencies run for real, all the way out to the very edge of the system. But because the external systems have been turned off by the nullables, the tests don't talk to the outside world. This means they're very simple and straightforward, like the best end-to-end -end tests, but they're fast and reliable, like good mock-based tests. Best of all, nullable-based tests are 100% compatible with your existing code. You can add them to a legacy code base without major design changes. You can even combine nullables and mocks in the same test. That may sound silly, but it makes it easy to incrementally migrate from one approach to another. Nothing is perfect, of course. All engineering is trade-offs. In this case, the trade-off is that nullables require changes to your production code. If you don't like that idea, then nullables aren't a good fit for you. But I think the trade-off is worth it. The tests are fast and simple, and they allow you to get rid of a lot of cruft in your code base. They get out of your way and let you focus on code. You spend less time worrying about tests and more time making progress. And that's worth a lot of trade-offs to me. In this course, you'll learn everything you need to know to start using these tests in your code. You'll learn how to use nullables as you test drive application level code. You'll learn how to design and implement your own nullables as you write a high-level infrastructure wrapper for an external service. You'll learn how to write narrow integration tests as you implement a low-level HTTP infrastructure wrapper. And you'll learn how to make the low-level infrastructure wrappers nullable by using embedded stubs. Throughout it all, you'll be working hands-on with real-world code. Tests are important. Fast, reliable tests that stay out of your way are even more important. This course gives you the tools you need to make better tests. I hope to see you there.